In this lesson, we will learn how to add constraints to animation layers. So, Maya lets us constrain to animation layers, and what's really neat about that is we can use an animation layer's weight parameter to animate blending between target objects and constrained objects. So let's make sure we're under our Anim tab in the channel box. And what we'll do is constrain between these two objects. Right now in the scene we have a little bit of animation. So by the end of this we'll blend from one target to the next using animation layers. Now keep in mind the system is only for simple constraints. The ones right above the first divider under the constraint menu. So that's point through parent. What we'll do is work with the point constraint in this lesson. So before we can use the animation layer tool, if we were to take a look at the point constraint options, we first need an animation layer to add it to. Let's go ahead and add two empty layers. Go ahead and minimize the options. And we'll create again just two layers. We can go ahead and take the, the first layer we made, double click and rename that to B layer. The first one we'll rename A layer, just to keep track of where we set our constraints. All right, so here's locator A and here's locator B. So starting with locator A, what we'll do is go ahead and grab the object, grab our animation control, and now let's choose constraint, point constraint options. At this point, let's go ahead and choose the A layer for our, our constraint to rest underneath this system. Okay, now when we choose apply, what you'll see is that the leg has been snapped to that position. But keep in mind the animation we had, if we were to hit play, what you'll see is that we no longer see it. The reason why that is is because of the option right underneath the animation layer which lets us set the layer to or as an override meaning that the override layer is going to block any incoming connections so we only see its result if we were to undo and go ahead and turn this off and choose apply notice what we're going to get an additive result between the constraint and the animation so we'll still see some animation if we hit play but notice the offset we get. Now this constraint that rests in animation layer A, again we can use its weight parameter to start to smoothly blend between the target's weight. So right now I have it nearly off. But we're not going to animate this just yet. Let's go ahead and add object B. So we'll grab object B, we'll shift select our leg control, and head back over to our point constraint options. Now let's go ahead and choose the B layer and choose add. So what this means is that we're going to now blend between both layers. So you can see if we were to go to layer A and set that to zero, now notice the offset we get between our animation control and object B. So let's go ahead and finish this with a little bit of animation. We'll go to object B and set its weight to zero. We'll go to object A and set it to one. So now at this point, let's go ahead and key the layer on frame one. That's animation layer A. And now moving forward, let's go ahead and turn off its weight on frame 12. So we'll set the weight to zero, set a key, clicking on this K button. And now, you can see the transition we get from 1 to 12. So let's go ahead and finish. On frame 12, we'll go to the B layer, press it, or click on the K button to create a zero weight. And then on frame 24, we can go ahead and bring the leg over to object B and set another keyframe. So taking a look at this, if we hit play, you'll see that the legs now pulls from 
one target to the next. Grabbing the animation control, we can head over to the graph editor to tweak the animation further. So here are our weights that we've added for object A and object B. Right now, A is collapsed, so we could just expand that to see its result, pressing the F key. So that's a look at working with constraints and animation layers. One limitation this has is we cannot export our constraints tied to animation layers. So we'll want to keep that in mind. If you'd like to learn more about constraints and animation layers or animation layers in general, feel free to take a look at our animation layer course in Maya.